Hello, my name is Robin and I was a participant in the She Wins program in Mimo, South Africa. And I want to tell you a little bit about that experience and how much it affected me in my life um, since then and what the experience was like while I was there. When I arrived in Mimo, I was immediately struck by how beautiful the landscape is, these rolling hills. Um, it's a small village near the Drakensberg Mountains. And it was there that I was welcomed into the home of Cindy and Stephen. We started working with the girls in the local schools almost immediately. The girls were in the process of preparing for their track and field competitions and they were having practice almost every afternoon. And the girls in this program were incredibly warm and so welcoming, so it was very easy to get involved almost from day one. They wanted to show us around the village and tell us stories and share with us their lives and their families and their homes. Um, and as the practices progressed, we got to know them better, and it also became clear that there were a few girls who showed some real talent and aptitude for the sports themselves. So this is Anna Lile, who was um, the young woman who uh, made it to compete in the national finals in Cape Town. And this was a really big deal, and the experience of watching this little girl make it that far was probably one of the events that had the most profound effect on me of my time there. Um, first of all, uh, she was from a very poor family and she told me she wanted to be a doctor when she grows up, so she is a very determined young lady and very ambitious, but she was also incredibly gracious and excited to share her accomplishments and her dreams with her friends and her classmates. Um, the national competitions were held in Cape Town, and she was the first person from her whole family to have ever seen the ocean, any ocean because they had never been able to afford to travel to the coast. And I guess I would have assumed that that might have given her pride or superiority with her classmates, but it did exactly the opposite. Um, when she returned from Cape Town, she brought bags and bags of shells and sand and bottled seawater, and she and all her friends sat under the trees outside of school where she told them about her journey and offered each of them some of the shells and the water so they could share in her experience of seeing the ocean. And she wanted to give each of them a piece of the sea, she said. And I just have never forgotten that. Outside of the time that I spent with the She Wins girls, I also was very affected by Mimo, the community itself, and the environment of being near the Drakensberg Mountains and amidst this very new landscape to me that um, while I was there I was accepted to go to graduate school for art in San Francisco which I just finished this uh, spring and I had been making these very dark black and white paintings and when I got to Mimo I really took on all these colors and animals that were around me and they sort of fed into this new work that I'm making. The first of which I guess was the mural that I painted for Cindy and Steven while I was there. Um, Mimo has an abundance of incredible birds and Steven is quite knowledgeable on the subject of Mimo birds <laughs> and he lent me a book about birds and I started to sort of develop a strong interest in bird watching and the birds that I found in Nemo ended up making their way into my mural and into my work now. Since leaving South Africa, um, I started my Master's of Fine Art degree at the San Francisco Art Institute, and a lot of my work while I was there was inspired by my time in South Africa. And I'm making these paintings that are these depictions of lush jungles filled with birds and filled with wildlife, uh, much of which is directly inspired from my time in South Africa and my travels there, um, and all the beautiful birds and animals that I saw while I was staying in Mimo and during my travels throughout the country after my time in Mimo. Since graduating in May, I have been working full-time on my artwork, and I have just made the move up to Montreal, Canada, where I have set up a new studio and am working on new paintings, and I have an exhibition up in Montreal through the end of December of all these works filled with South African birds, and I couldn't be more grateful for the time I spent there. I got some troubles, but they won't last I'm gonna lay right down here in the grass And 
Pretty soon all my troubles will pass Cause I'm in shoo 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 shoo